to enjoy harmonica and uh, beginner lessons. I'm having trouble playing this thing. This is a happy green harmonica from Horner and quite frankly is rubbish. I've done a review on this before which will explain to you why it's rubbish but this is the kind of thing I don't want you to buy. If you're learning harmonica don't buy this kind of thing. It's all plastic the majority of it is plastic apart from the screws and uh, it's just rubbish. Throw away. You can usually tell poor harmonicas by the packaging. I mean look at that. Cheap packaging. They haven't spent a penny on it. Well maybe a penny. <laughs> um, throw that away as well. The other, the other one you might see is, uh, I know these are just examples. This is a Red River one. Okay. Now you can tell it's rubbish because you've got Red River on both sides and no trademarks. I haven't got any company name on there. They're so ashamed of it, you see. It says it's a C, but it's, I don't know, it doesn't, it doesn't say anything. Oh, it does. It says it's a C, but probably, you know, that's questionable. Um, there also, another way you can tell how cheap it is is because the box isn't even lined. It rattles in the box. The, 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 and it's deceiving because it looks like a special 20. That is a Red River and that is a special 20 which I'll get onto in a, in a few minutes and that's a quality instrument and this is, is rubbish. This belongs in the bin. So what I want to mention to you briefly now is a man called uh, Ben Hewlett. Now Ben Hewlett has got a range of harmonicas called Sunny Boy Music under the Sunny Boy Music umbrella I mean there's different names for I think it's got about five different types. Now I've asked, I asked Ben if I could uh, have one on discount so I could demonstrate it and do a review and he declined my kind invitation <laughs> and um, so I don't know what they're like. Now he sold a lot of them, they're very popular harmonicas but he's the only one that um, reviews them. I, don't, I haven't seen anybody else review them so that to me you know well it can be your own conclusion. But uh, so I just thought I'd mention that. The other thing I want to mention is uh, a lot of people, uh, harmonica players are promoting now actually, is that these top harmonica. Now this is a cheap Japanese harmonica and it's uh, apparently it's very good. Um, but I haven't got any experience. The only experience I've got are these top harmonicas. And I would, I would urge you at this stage of your playing is to avoid them really because they're, they're a bounded power range and it's a range that uh, specialises in how you bend on the harmonica and how you draw in the harmonica, uh, blow bend and blow draw and so forth um, and it's a bit specialised so at the moment I would recommend that you stick to 10 hole diatonic the other one that uh, is going around is uh, Lucky 13 now it's a 10 hole diatonic with 3 extra holes on it and you don't really want to get in, you know it's, so it's a bit tricky to use that um, so we're just going to concentrate on the 10 hole diatonic. Now another one to avoid, um, and it's a good harmonica, but the reason I'm asking you to avoid it, um, what it was called, it, this, this, this kind of thing really, and this is a custom made harmonica, and this was custom made for me by uh, a, man who, a man who's now called, goes by the name of Sugarcane. I won't tell you his name when he, when he did this for me, because I don't think he wants to uh, be associated with it. So this was made for me by him. He's a very good customizer, and um, this is a classic cane harmonica, and um, it's a really very good one. His, his work is very good. It's exceptional. So um, I just want to mention that. But not at this stage you're playing. I would suggest you wait a couple of years before you get a custom one. But I'll put his link down below anyway. Okay. So now the list, the harmonicas. Now I'm going to recommend to you. All right, just just here. Here we are. So the first one we're going to look at then is the blues harp. Now the blues harp comes in a nice blue box for you, okay? Uh, and it's uh, one of the great popular ones from Horner. All the ones I'm going to recommend, by the way, are Horner. Um, I've been playing Horner for a long time, and uh, they're very very good harmonicas. So the blues harp. There we are. You can you can do riffs with it. You can do all sorts of blues stuff with it. It's very nice harmonica. 
the blues harp from Honor, my first recommendation. So buy that straight out of the box, work in without any problems. One that uh, looks looks like a cheapie, uh, which is not, is the Honor Special 20. Lots and lots of people recommend these to you. I won't go into too much with these because I've got um, another review in, in my, one of my other videos. Special 20. And there's a progressive one or the normal Special 20. Either one, either one of these is fantastic. This happens to be an E. Um, nice and light and eerie sound it's uh, closed at the ends and uh, it's a really nice harmonica special 20 another recommendation again from Horner my third recommendation by the way all these ones here would cost between about 25 and 35 pounds depends on on where you get them again I've got some uh, uh, recommended areas to buy harmonicas if you want to have a look at that, that under recommendations um, playlist this is one I really like. This is a golden melody. Now this particular one is in gold because it's in the C. Uh, the other keys are in um, the normal silver colour. So the golden melody. Now the golden melody is actually designed in such a way it's, it's ideal for playing melodies, tunes, uh, that kind of thing on, okay? Um, but it's a very nice harmonica. As you can see it's rounded off at the edges. So none of the harmonica is actually digging into your hands, which can sometimes be a problem uh, for new harmonica players, but you kind of get used to it. But if you don't want to get used to it, or if you can get used to it, then I'd highly recommend the Golden Melody. It really is a beautiful instrument. And uh, it's probably a little bit more expensive than the Special, special 20. Probably about 32 quid, 35 quid, something like that. But it's very nice. But the one I'd highly recommend, um, and you really can't go wrong with these. This is a marine band, but this is, pardon me, but this is a deluxe version. Now it's a little bit different to the normal. The normal version, for example, hasn't got, if you look very closely, the teeth are kind of round, rounded teeth, aren't they? Kind of rounded off a little bit. And that's wooden, that's wood that is, but it's a special kind of wood. I can't remember the name of it. And it's lacquered several times, so you won't get that swelling that I've talked about before. And it's got two screws on the ends there, so it's nice and airtight. And it's got this little ridge that goes up a little bit at the back, so it just makes it a bit more comfortable for your fingers to sit on. You see that? And it's open, it's open ended there, so it's nice and loud. Um, so, my recommendations if, in brief, uh, the Golden Melody, if you want to play tunes. Or anything else that matter, but it's, it's designed to play tunes. Special 20 is an excellent harmonica, harmonica. you can do just about anything with it. If you're into blues, then the blues harps are one for you. If you've got a bit more money to spend, then please buy the Marine Band Deluxe. You cannot go wrong. Thank you very much indeed for listening and enjoying, I hope, this video. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel, uh, join my Facebook group and uh, follow my page you may see me in other places as well like uh, like g google plus i'm on there and i'm on uh, twitter and uh, various other little places as well thank you very much for listening enjoying uh, enjoy harmonica enjoy the rest of your day bye bye now